Eve, Hebrew, Hawa modern, Chava, Tiberian, Hawa, Arabic, Hawa a translate. Hawa, Greek, Ua translate. Eva, Latin, Eva, Syriac, Hu is a figure in the book of Genesis in the Hebrew Bible. According to the creation myth of the Abrahamic religions, she was the first woman. In Islamic tradition, Eve is known as Adam's wife and the first woman although she is not specifically named in the Quran but in the Hadith. According to the second chapter of Genesis, Eve was created by God Yahweh by taking her from the rib of Adam, to be Adam's companion. She succumbs to the serpent's temptation to eat the forbidden fruit from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. She shares the fruit with Adam, and as a result the first humans are expelled from the Garden of Eden. Christian churches differ on how they view both Adam and Eve's disobedience to God often called the fall of man, and to the consequences that those actions had on the rest of humanity. Christian and Jewish teachings sometimes hold Adam the first man and Eve to a different level of responsibility for the fall, although Islamic teaching holds both equally responsible. Although Eve is not a saint's name, the traditional name day of Adam and Eve has been celebrated on December 24 since the Middle Ages in many European countries such as Germany, Hungary, Scandinavia, Estonia, and Lithuania. Etymology <inaudible> 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 Topic. Eve, in Hebrew is Hawa, and is most commonly believed to mean living one or source of life, as it is phonetically similar to Haya, to live. The name is traditionally assumed to derive from the Semitic root high. Genesis chapter 3 verse 20 reads, And the man declared his wife's name Chava, because she was the mother of all life. Hawa has been compared to the Hurrian goddess Kiba, who was shown in the Amarna letters to be worshipped in Jerusalem during the Late Bronze Age. It has been suggested that the name Kiba may derive from Kubau, a woman who was the first ruler of the Third Dynasty of Kish, the goddess Asherah, wife of El, mother of the Elohim from the first millennium BCE, was given the title Chawit, from which the name Hawa in Aramaic was derived, Eve in English. It has been suggested that the Hebrew name Eve Hawa also bears resemblance to an Aramaic word for snake old aramaic language jewish palestinian aramaic highway the origins for this etymological hypothesis is the rabbinic pun present in genesis rabba 2011 utilizing the similarity between heb chava and aram chivia notwithstanding its rabbinic ideological usage scholars like julius wellhausen and theodor noldick argued for its etymological relevance morris jastra in turn advanced a hypothesis that gen 320 is a later addition to the text intended to connect the mysterious creature known only as Hava in Gen. 4 to 1 with the woman Aisha of Genesis chapter 3, and asked, Is it not possible, therefore, that the serpent was originally and in reality merely the woman who, by arousing the sexual passion, leads man to a knowledge of good and evil? Topic. In Genesis. Topic. In the book of Genesis of the Hebrew Bible, the first human female is called Ish, Isha English, woman, by the first human man, Adam. She is created by Elohim from the man's rib. Topic. Creation Topic. In Genesis chapter 2 verses 18 to 22, the woman is created to be Ezer Ki Negdo, a term that is notably difficult to translate, to the man. Ki negdo means, alongside, opposite, a counterpart to him, and ezer means active intervention on behalf of the other person. God's naming of the elements of the cosmos in Genesis chapter 1 illustrated his authority over creation, now the man's naming of the animals and of woman illustrates his authority within creation. The woman is called Aisha, woman, with an explanation that this is because she was taken from Ish, meaning, man. The two words are not in fact connected. Later, after the story of the garden is complete, she will be given a name, Hawa Eve. This means, living, in Hebrew, from a root that can also mean, snake. A long-standing exegetical tradition holds that the use of a rib from man S side emphasizes that both man and woman have equal dignity, for woman was created from the same material as man, shaped and given life by the same processes. 
In fact, the word traditionally translated rib in English can also mean side, chamber, or beam. In the King James Version, a hot mazaliote is translated as one of his ribs. The contrary position is that the term zel or sela, occurring 41 times in the Tanakh, is most often translated as side in general. Rib is, however, the etymologically primary meaning of the term, which is from a root sl meaning bend, a cognate to the Assyrian selu meaning rib. Also God took one ehad of Adam's sela, suggesting an individual rib. The Septuagint has me and ton pluron auto, with he plura choosing a Greek term that, like the Hebrew sela, may mean either rib or, in the plural, side of a man or animal. In general, the specification one of the plura, thus closely imitates the Hebrew text. The Aramaic form of the word is el or Allah, which appears, also in the meaning, rib, in Daniel chapter 7 verse 5. The 3rd century BC Septuagint translation into Greek says, Elabe mian ton pluron auto, literally, God, took one of his, i.e. Adam's, pluron. The word plura in Greek means both, side, or, flank, and, rib. It is used in the genitive plural ton pluron in the Septuagint text. Usage of the dual number would have rendered ton plurain rather than ton pluron, and would have clearly directed exegesis towards one of his two flanks, rather than towards one of his several ribs. However, the dual number is never used in the Septuagint, as it had become practically obsolete in Koine Greek by that time. Therefore, as it stands, the Septuagint supports either reading. The term a rib. Gen 2 21 minus 24 Hebrew sala backquote or sela from Strong S concordance number 6760 prime root can mean curve, limp, adversity, and side. Sol ah fem of number 6760 being side, chamber, rib, or beam. The traditional reading of rib has been questioned recently by feminist theologians who suggest it should instead be rendered as side, supporting the idea that woman is man's equal and not his subordinate. Such a reading shares elements in common with Aristophanes. Story of the origin of love and the separation of the sexes in Plato's Symposium, a recent suggestion, based upon observations that men and women have the same number of ribs, speculates that the bone was the baculum, a small structure found in the penis of many mammals, but not in humans. Topic. Expulsion from Eden Topic. Eve is found in the Genesis chapter 3 expulsion from Eden narrative which is characterized as a parable or wisdom tale in the wisdom tradition. This narrative portion is attributed to Yahwist J by the documentary hypothesis due to the use of YHWH. In the expulsion from Eden narrative a dialogue is exchanged between a legged serpent possibly similar to that appearing on the Ishtar gate of Babylon and the woman 3-1-5. The serpent is identified in 2.19 as an animal that was made by Yahweh among the beasts of the field. The woman is willing to talk to the serpent and respond to the creature's cynicism by repeating Yahweh's prohibition from 2.17. The serpent directly disputes Yahweh's command. Adam and the woman sin, 3-6-8. Yahweh questions Adam, who blames the woman, 3-9-13. Yahweh then challenges the woman to explain herself, who blames the serpent, who is cursed to crawl on its belly, so losing its limbs. Divine pronouncement of three judgments are then laid against all culprits 314-19. A judgment oracle and the nature of the crime is first laid upon the serpent, then the woman, and finally Adam. After the serpent is cursed by Yahweh, the woman receives a penalty that impacts two primary roles, childbearing and her subservient relationship to her husband. Adam's penalty thus follows. The reaction of Adam, the naming of Eve, and Yahweh making skin garments are described in a concise narrative 320 The garden account ends with an intradivine monologue, determining the couple's expulsion, and the execution of that deliberation 322 <laughs> Mother of Humanity Topic. 
According to the Bible, for her share in the transgression, Eve and womankind after her is sentenced to a life of sorrow and travail in childbirth, and to be under the power of her husband. Adam and Eve had two sons, Cain and Abel Cain and Hebel, the first a tiller of the ground, the second a keeper of sheep. After the death of Abel, Eve gave birth to a third son, Seth Set, from whom Noah and thus the whole of modern humanity is descended. According to Genesis, Seth was born when Adam was 130 years old, a son in his likeness and like his image. Genesis chapter 5 verse 4 says that Eve had sons and daughters beyond just Cain, Abel, and Seth. Topic. In other works Topic. Certain concepts such as the serpent being identified as Satan, Eve's sin being sexual temptation, or Adam's first wife being Lilith, come from literary works found in various Jewish apocrypha, but not found anywhere in the book of Genesis or the Torah itself. Writings dealing with these subjects are extant literature in Greek, Latin, Slavonic, Syriac, Armenian and Arabic, going back to ancient Jewish thought. Their influential concepts were then adopted into Christian theology, but not into modern Judaism. This marked a radical split between the two religions. Some of the oldest Jewish portions of Apocrypha are called primary Adam literature where some works became Christianized. Examples of Christianized works is the Book of Adam and Eve, known as the Conflict of Adam and Eve with Satan, translated from the Ethiopian Ge'ez by Solomon Caesar Malan 1882, and an original Syriac work entitled Cave of Treasures which has close affinities to the conflict as noted by August Dillman. In the Jewish book The Alphabet of Ben Sira, Eve is Adam's second wife, where Lilith is his first. In this alternate version, which entered Europe from the East in the 6th century, it suggests that Lilith was created at the same time, from the same earth Sumerian key, as Adam's equal, similar to the Babylonian Lilithu, Sumerian Ninlil wife of Enlil. Lilith refuses to sleep or serve under Adam. When Adam tried to force her into the inferior position, she flew away from Eden into the air where she copulated with demons, conceiving hundreds more each day a derivation of the Arabic jinn. God sent three angels after her, who threatened to kill her brood if she refused to return to Adam. She refuses, leaving God to make a second wife for Adam, except this time from his rib. The Life of Adam and Eve, and its Greek version Apocalypse of Moses, is a group of Jewish pseudepigraphical writings that recount the lives of Adam and Eve after their expulsion from the Garden of Eden to their deaths. The Deuterocanonical Book of Tobit affirms that Eve was given to Adam as a helper v. 8, sept. v. 6. Topic. Religious views Topic. Topic. Judaism Topic. In the first creation narrative Elohim account, it says, "...male and female Elohim created them." Genesis chapter 1 verse 27, which has been interpreted to imply simultaneous creation of the man and the woman. Whereas the second creation account states that YHWH created Eve from Adam's rib, because he was lonely Genesis chapter 2 verse 18 ff. Thus to resolve this apparent discrepancy, some medieval rabbis suggested that Eve from the second account, and the woman of the Elohim account, were two separate individuals, Eve and Lilith. Midrash Rabbah Genesis 8, 1 interprets, "...male and female he created them," to mean that God originally created Adam as a hermaphrodite. In this way, Adam was bodily and spiritually male and female. God later decides that, "...it is not good for Adam to be alone." and creates the separate beings, Adam and Eve. This promotes the idea of two people joining together to achieve a union of the two separate spirits. The creation of Eve, according to Rabbi Joshua, is that, God deliberated from what member he would create woman, and he reasoned with himself thus, I must not create her from Adam's head, for she would be a proud person, and hold her head high. If I create her from the eye, then she will wish to pry into all things, if from the ear, she will wish to hear all things, if from the mouth, she will talk much, if from the heart, she will envy people, if from the hand, she will desire to take all things, if from the feet, she will be a gadabout. Therefore I will create her from the member which is hid, that is the rib, which is not even seen when man is naked. 
According to the Midrash of Genesis Rabbah and other later sources, either Cain had a twin sister, and Abel had two twin sisters, or Cain had a twin sister named Labuda, and Abel a twin sister named Kalimath. The traditional Jewish belief is that Eve is buried in the cave of Machpelah. The early rabbinic literature contains also the traditions which portray Eve in a less positive manner. According to Genesis Rabbah 18-4 Adam quickly realizes that Eve is destined to engage in constant quarrels with him. The first woman also becomes the object of accusations ascribed to Rabbi Joshua of Siknan, according to whom Eve, despite the divine efforts, turned out to be swelled-headed, coquette, eavesdropper, gossip, prone to jealousy, light-fingered and gadabout Ibid, 18-2. A similar set of charges appears in Genesis Rabbah 17-8, according to which Eve's creation from Adam's rib rather than from the earth makes her inferior to Adam and never satisfied with anything. Finally, the gravest evils attributed to Eve appear in Genesis Rabbah 17-8, Why does a man go out bareheaded while a woman goes out with her head covered? She is like one who has done wrong and is ashamed of people, therefore she goes out with her head covered. Why do they the women, walk in front of the corpse at a funeral? Because they brought death into the world, they therefore walk in front of the corpse, as it is written, for he is born to the grave. And all men draw after him, as there were innumerable before him. Job chapter 21 verse 32 f. And why was the precept of menstruation nida, given to her? Because she shed the blood of Adam by causing death, therefore was the precept of menstruation given to her. And why was the precept of do hella, given to her? Because she corrupted Adam, who was the dough of the world, therefore was the precept of dough given to her. And why was the precept of the Sabbath lights Shabbat, given to her? Because she extinguished the soul of Adam, therefore was the precept of the Sabbath lights given to her. In addition to this, the early rabbinic literature contains numerous instances in which Eve is accused of various sexual transgressions. Told in Genesis chapter 3 verse 16 that your desire shall be for your husband, she is accused by the rabbis of having an overdeveloped sexual drive Genesis Rabbi 20 and constantly enticing Adam Ibid, 23 However, in terms of textual popularity and dissemination, the motif of Eve copulating with the primeval serpent takes priority over her other sexual transgressions. Despite rather unsettling picturesqueness of this account, it is conveyed in numerous places, Genesis Rabbah 18-6, Soda 9b, Shabbat 145b 146a and 196a, Yevamot 103b and Avoda Zara 22b. Christianity some early church fathers interpreted 2 Cor, 11-3 and 1 Tim. 2.13-14 that the Apostle Paul promoted the silence and submission of women due to Eve's deception by the serpent, her tempting Adam to eat the fatal fruit, and transgressing by eating of the fruit herself. Tertullian told his female listeners, in the early 2nd century, that they are the devil's gateway, and went on to explain that all women are responsible for the death of Christ. On account of your desert, that is, death, even the Son of God had to die. Saint Augustine, according to Elaine Pagels, used the sin of Eve to justify his view of humanity as permanently scarred by the fall, which led to the Catholic doctrine of original sin. Gregory of Tours reported that in the Council of Macon, 585 CE, attended by 43 bishops, one bishop maintained that woman could not be included under the term man as she was responsible for Adam's sin, and had a deficient soul. However, his case was declined and did not press the issue further. Eve, in Christian art, is most usually portrayed as the temptress of Adam, and often during the Renaissance the serpent in the garden is portrayed as having a woman's face identical to that of Eve. She was also compared with the Greco-Roman myth of Pandora who was responsible for bringing evil into the world. Some Christians claim monogamy is implied in the story of Adam and Eve as one woman is created for one man. Eve's being taken from his side implies not only her secondary role in the conjugal state 1 Corinthians 11 verse 9, but also emphasizes the intimate union between husband and wife, and the dependence of her to him. In conventional Christianity, Eve is a prefigurement of Mary, mother of Jesus who is also sometimes called the second Eve. Topic. Gnosticism Topic. In Gnosticism, Eve is often seen as the embodiment of the supreme feminine principle, called Barbello. 
She is equated with the Light Maiden of Sophia, creator of the Word Logos of God, the Thygator Tou Photos or simply the Virgin Maiden, Parthenos. In other texts she is equated with Zoe life. In other Gnostic texts, such as the Hypostasis of the Archons, the Pistis Sophia is equated with Eve's daughter, Noria, the wife of Seth. Islam Adam's spouse is mentioned in the Quran in verses 30-39 of Surah 2, verses 11-25 of Surah 7, verses 26-42 of Surah 15, verses 61-65 of Surah 17, verses 50-51 of Surah 18, verses 110-124 of Surah 20 and in verses 71-85 of Surah 38, but the name, Eve, Arabic, wa hawa, is never revealed or used in the Quran. Eve is mentioned by name only in Hadith. Accounts of Adam and Eve in Islamic texts, which include the Quran and the books of Sunnah, are similar but different to that of the Torah and Bible. The Quran relates an account in which God created one soul and created from it its mate and dispersed from both of them many men and women. Surah Al Nisa 4 1, but there are Hadiths that support the creation of woman from a rib. Sahih Bukhari 455, 548, Sahih Bukhari 7, 62-114, Sahih Muslim 8-3467, Sahih Muslim 8-3468. Eve is not blamed for enticing Adam to eat the forbidden fruit nor is there the concept of original sin. On the contrary, the Quran indicates that they ate of it and were both to blame for that transgression Quran 22-121-122. There are subsequent hadiths narrated by Abu Huraira, the authenticity of which is contested, that hold that Muhammad designates Eve as the epitome of female betrayal. Narrated Abu Huraira, the Prophet said, Were it not for Bani Israel, meat would not decay, and were it not for Eve, no woman would ever betray her husband. Sahih Bukhari, Hadith 611, Volume 55 an identical but more explicit version is found in the second most respected book of prophetic narrations, Sahih Muslim. Abu Huraira may Allah be pleased with him reported Allah's messenger may peace be upon him as saying had it not been for Eve woman would have never acted unfaithfully towards her husband hadith 3471 volume 8 topic bahai faith topic the bahai account of Eve is described in some answered questions backquote abdul baha describes Eve as a symbol of the soul and as containing divine mysteries the Baha'i faith claims the account of Eve in previous Abrahamic traditions as metaphorical. Topic family tree topic topic See also topic Habat mitochondrial Eve Paradise Lost Pre-Adamite Shatarupa Tomb of Eve Old Testament Pseudepigrapha, Life of Adam and Eve Apocalypse of Adam Testament of Adam Books of Adam Conflict of Adam and Eve with Satan topic References topic topic Bibliography topic Alter, Robert 2004. The Five Books of Moses. New York, W. W. Norton. ISBN 0-393-33393-0. A translation with commentary. Flood, John, 2010. Representations of Eve in Antiquity and the English Middle Ages. Routledge. Hastings, James, 2003. Encyclopedia of Religion and Ethics, Part 10. Kessinger Publishing. ISBN 978-0-7661-3682-3. Hugenberger, G. P. 1988. Rib. In Bromiley, Jeffrey W. The International Standard Bible Encyclopedia, Vol. 4. Eerdmans. ISBN 9780802837895. Hogan, Jeffrey W. 2007. Gender, Power, and Persuasion, The Genesis Narratives and Contemporary Perspectives. Baker Academic. Matthews, K. A. 1996. Genesis 1 11 26. B H Publishing Group. ISBN 9780805401011. Hogan, Jeffrey W. 1998. The Story of Eve. Macmillan Books. Pagels, Elaine. Adam, Eve and the Serpent. Vintage Books. Paulinus Minorita. Compendium. Tumanov, Vladimir. Mary vs. Eve, Paternal Uncertainty and the Christian View of Women. Neophilologists, International Journal of Modern and Mediaeval Language and Literature 95.4, 507-521.
Turner, Lawrence A. 2009. Genesis, Second Ed. Sheffield, Phoenix Press. ISBN 9781906055673. Turner, Lawrence A. 2005. Symbols and Meaning: A Concise Introduction. Altamira Press. ISBN 978-0-7591-0322-1.